My sister came out and told me she was gay a couple years ago, and she was really nervous. She thought that because of our southern conservative upbringing, I was going to be upset when she told me, but I wasn't. I was actually really happy, not for her, but for me, because at the time, I was dating a black woman, and I needed a way to tell the family. Yeah. Yeah, I learned very early in life that if I could stay out of trouble by getting her in trouble first, I would do that, right? <laughs> so the plan was simple. I was just going to go home, be like, Mom, Dad, y'all aren't going to believe this. Crystal's gay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I couldn't believe either. When she told me in Shaniqua, we were completely caught off guard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who? Shaniqua? Yeah, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> Crystal's gay, it's so sad. <laughs> Unfortunately, I never got to have that conversation because uh, Shaniqua broke up with me. We had actually moved in together, and then shortly afterwards, she said that I had started acting racist, which uh, she just misunderstood the intent behind the action. Right? Like, for instance, as soon as we moved in together, I suggested that we maintain separate bathrooms. Oh. <laughs> See, now you're all acting just like her, okay? That's not a race issue that's gender-based because ladies, I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, sharing the bathroom with you is very difficult for us, right? Like, we go in there, there's makeup and stuff all over the counter. There's things in the wastebasket I have never wanted to see in my life. I don't know how any of you have hair left at this point. You shed more than any dog I've ever owned. But looking back, I think the straw that broke the camel's back was uh, the fact that her name was Melissa and I insist on call her Shaniqua all the time. If you like this video, click subscribe and you can see more like it. Steve, what happened to your hair? This is my tribute to Howard Stern. You must be a really big fan. Baba booey.